Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, so, man, uh, I'm gonna get into the music a little right. bit, man. Just, um, when did you first find your love for, for like, uh, producing? We'll start there because that's kind of what... That's where you started with That's where you started, right? Right? No. You no. started music first? Yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. you was a singer? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do first so, in music? At the age of two. You know what I'm saying? Two? At the age of two, growing up in the church. In the church, right. Right, so my dad, once again... Playing the drums yeah, at the you, church. You did mention when that. I was old enough, you know what I'm saying. As a baby, he would take me in the car seat while he played in service. So when I was old enough to walk into church, I would walk all the way to the drum set and just sit there the whole service, even through Sunday Bible school when they're not singing. You and know, you I didn't would, fall asleep? No, nah, I was just there, just sitting wow. there. You know what I'm saying? So one thing led to another. That's when I fell in love with the, the music, music aspect. Once I got a little older, around like eight or nine, I saw Bow Wow on TV. Okay. Right? Bounce with me came out. I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Like, dang, like, I ain't know a kid can do this. Yeah. So I went home and wrote my first rap in the bathroom. It was something about Raymond Noodles or something like that. That's cool. Raymond you know Noodles will work. It was, it was that, something whatever. like that. You, you know gotta what I'm do it. So when I did that, it was, you know, it was dope, but I never stopped rapping. I always wanted to chase what I saw. So, you know, that was cool. Then I got in a group called the Pangea Kids, and then we went on 106 in Park. We went the Apollo. Uh, man, are you the second nigga that came on here? Yeah. We went on 106 in Park. Yeah. Let me go there for a minute, nigga. Come on, man. So, so DeRo told me it didn't look like it. What it looked like on TV? Nah, not he at all. He it, said it, it's a. It looked like a. Uh, he said it's a little smaller set. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it, about it, big as this room Really And and, sure. and he said But but it looked different on TV Because I used to watch it I yeah. seen uh, Michelle fall okay. When they, I need yeah, a yeah. soldier Where yeah, you got yeah, it I'm yeah. the hottest around Came out And I seen her fall And, and they sidestepped yeah. her You know yeah, they yeah, really, I remember that I remember that I remember <laughs> They didn't that. really right help over. her get up They Look kept right it out, yeah, kept and, yeah. and she come back up and, and, But yeah. it was crazy But that That 106 in Park movement Man is gone mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. how was it Just being on set with uh, Who was you with You had to be with The, the younger ones You were the younger ones you yeah. wasn't with AJ and Free. Nah, you nah. was with uh, 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 Roxy. Terrence J and Roxy. And Roxy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. how was that? It was cool. Uh, Terrence J brought some shoes. Okay, from me, um, the shoes that I had on. It was the uh, Animal Animal Pack ninety fives. I believe I'm a real big sneakerhead. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We done interviewed them too. Yeah, well, you so, can't miss me. Yeah, so <laughs> you know he did. Um, it was cool. It was the same show as Lady Gaga. Okay, she that's was, big. Yeah, she was mm -hmm. on that show, and Ro Timmy was on okay. that same show. Yeah. Ro Timmy was on that show and us, and then Lady Gaga was like a, a guest host. So it was dope, you and, know what I'm saying? And you had to be young. I was young. Yeah. Like oh. real young. Like it was probably like right when I so probably like 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know that's saying? young, man. Like 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 to be but to be able to see that, that had to inspire you as well yeah, to dope. push you. Because that that was the, the hard work that we was putting in because before I left Florida and went to Tennessee. We had a little buzz in the city, you know what I'm saying, and then it kind of just stopped. But I was like, "Damn, I don't." At the time, we didn't know how to send vocals through the email. It yeah, was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. You know, we, I didn't even know about Pro Tools back then. We was honestly off the the um the the what's the 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 big the the, the stereo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, like off tapes. You know what I'm saying. We would take the tapes to the spot, and he'll put it on CD for us. That's dope. It wasn't mixed, it wasn't masked, but right. we had the song, and it was doing what we was doing on some hustle and flow type of vibe. That builds, <laughs> that builds structure and integrity, and man. That, that makes you love your craft, Facts. too. I think a lot of times the people who are doing it now is so easy and simplified exactly. yeah. that they really don't really understand what's going on in the fact of respecting it the way mm. that they should yeah. because it's so fast. You can make, man, you can make music quick so, now. It's so easy. You know it what is saying? different than what it used to be. Facts. And you... The thing is, back then you kind of like you said you appreciate the the whole process. Now you can you can record a song on your phone now. But it's hard yeah. for people who um, were there back then and used to that that form of doing business, and then now transform into this technology world. Some people can't transform, and that's where they stay where they at. You got people like Snoop Dogg, right? Right. He evolved. And they know how to do time. it. Don't you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to know how to evolve yeah. with the times. Cause, or, it's either that or you're going to stay right where you at. Yeah. You know a lot of people so, got left behind. But Jay Z, he evolved. He, you got he know to. he don't even mess with the Instagram and all Come that, on. but he knows. But he's he's not, not, and he'll go and buy and develop stuff. Yeah. He knows it needed. He's really in tune with what's happening. And I think that's a lot of time the ones who excel. Yeah. Because really, that's the OGs to me. The ones who really creating a paved way for people to walk down Fact. instead of just sitting back talking about the youngsters. I don't get on with that. 
that. Yeah, most if you ain't going to show them how to come this way and show them how to jump, then then shut up about it. Because at the end of the day, we created a lot of the mess that we talk about. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So that's what being real and being older, you're supposed to be able to understand where a person is at and then how to get them where they're going. That's a real troubleshooting technician mm-hmm. to be honest mm-hmm. to help the youngster to make it through so a lot of time they're just talking Fact. and i don't get down with that but do so, some of these people actually know how to do it or they just hire people to do it for them no no it's a bunch of them to get technical I, I i i would think what you think yeah most of i feel like a lot of times you got to have the know-how you know what i'm saying nowadays once you get to a certain level you can pay people to say, okay, look, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me go ahead and get, like like Jay-Z, I know for a fact he didn't make that Instagram page. Mm. It's no, his. No. You know what I'm saying? It's his, but he probably was like, nah, go ahead and get everything right how right. I need to and blah, blah, blah. But, man, when you are really tapped in, like, you really kind of got to be in them trenches and know exactly what's going exactly. on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.